Thank you very much. It's a great privilege to be here. And I thank you so much for your support for our country, for my country, Israel. We all came here to say that I like Israel. I would like to say that I love Israel. <laughs> I am not a politician, and I was asked to be politically correct as much as I can. So I will try. I can't promise that I will be the best at being a politician. I'm not here to offend anybody. I am here to tell the truth the way that I saw it. And hopefully, this will be the way for peace in our world at some point, because the truth is born only of freedom, and I think people have to have the freedom to think, to question, to criticize, to say things. If I was not like this, I wouldn't be standing here today. I was asked by the uh, German uh, Channel 2 a question. If Hamas was a terrorist organization or not? How can you answer a question like this? We still have thousands of innocent people's blood witnessing Hamas terrorist attacks. Hamas is a terrorist organization. I was asked more important question than if Hamas is a terrorist organization or not. I was asked once in America, what's the difference between Hamas and Hummus? <laughs> Hamas was born to destroy the state of Israel. Hamas was born to destroy, and Hamas doesn't know how to build. I can say this because I have the authority to say that. I grew up in the heart of Hamas leadership. My father, Sheikh Hassan Youssef, is one of the founding members of Hamas organization. My family had to pay a very high price for the cause of Hamas. And we had to suffer more than any Palestinian family. So Hamas, at some point of my life, was my project. It was my business and my family's business. And I know about Hamas more than its members know about it. I had many reasons to hate Israel at some point of my life. I had political reasons, personal reasons, ideological reasons, I'm pleased to focus when I say ideological reasons. People are running from the reality that there is, there is religious war. And there is a war between gods in the Middle East, between ideologies, between values, between the Western civilization and the barbarians. This is the reality on the ground. This is what's happening. This is not radical Islam. I'm coming from a moderate Muslim family. 
and my dad considers himself a moderate leader. But we know every time when we read the Quran and we look at the behavior of Muhammad that unfortunately he did not like the Jewish people. And Hamas followed his steps, Muslims and Palestinians have the motivation, the religious motivation for their fight. Maybe they pretend. Maybe they try to be politically correct in the eyes of the world. But I personally, as a thinker, and as an author, I can't fool people. And I don't care if I'm considered whatever people want to consider me. We have to face the reality with courage before it's too late. Do Arabs hate Israel because of political reasons or because of ideological reasons? Is it a political conflict or a racial conflict? When I see and listen to the media here in the West, I start to forget where I'm coming from. I know the language, I know the people, I know the mentality, I know everything about that culture of death. And I start to believe the lie that this is just a minor problem. I'm here today to say that the ideological dimension of the Middle East conflict is the most important dimension. And we, as free people, have to take this in consideration. This is my message and this is my responsibility.